Rumor has it, if you look up dog in the dictionary, you see a picture of Robert Whitaker's face. I mean, let's just take a moment and give a round of applause to Robert Whitaker. Him, him and Alex Pereira are single-handedly carrying the UFC on their backs right now with all these inactive fighters. I mean, John Bones Jones, Leon Edwards was inactive, Bilal was inactive for a while. Even guys like Strickland are inactive. We got a whole lot of inactive fighters. And then you got people like Robert Whitaker and Alex Pereira. They're, and Diego Lopez. Shout out Diego Lopez. He's, he's got that same energy where it's like anytime, any place, we could throw down. And, I mean, he, Robert Whitaker really didn't even need to take his last fight. This guy was dangerous. Ikram, uh, he's a Dagestani. No one wants to fight these Dagestanis. They're all killers. And Robert Whitaker said, you know what? I'm going to throw down with him. This guy was way down below in the ranks. And Robert Whitaker had, he didn't have to fight him, but he said, I'm going to do it. He goes in there and he pieces this guy up in the first round. I mean, he was throwing these crazy shots on him, crazy accurate, crazy powerful. And when he dazed the guy, it was like he did not miss. He stayed patient. He didn't rush anything. And he just kept piecing him up. And I'm telling you, if Hamzat's not careful, Hamzat's not going to be able to take those shots. Hamzat might have to shoot on Robert Whitaker when Bruce Buffer is announcing him. And we don't even know what Hamzat's going to look like. I mean, we haven't seen Hamzat fight since Usman. And he didn't look that great. And that was with a washed up Usman with no knees and all. And I'm telling you, look at that uppercut. He's not going to be able to take an uppercut like that. And that's if the fight even happens. I mean, Hamza is, he might go to Chili's and eat, eat the burger and get food poisoning for all we know. But I hope it does happen. But, yeah, I mean, Whitaker, he's a dog. He's the one that wanted to fight. He told the UFC, hey, Hamza's still mine. I still got to fight Hamza, which is, I mean, that's, that's the definition of a fighter right there. And I hope it happens. Hamza, you know, Hamza's a killer. But, like I said, we don't know the Hamza we're going to get. It could be a wild Hamza. But, we know the Whitaker we're going to get. I mean, he looked crazy sharp. And, yeah, I, like, like Strickland, he was... Strickland had that energy as well, where it was kind of like, any time, any place, we could throw down. But, Strickland, he don't got that energy no more. Now he's even saying he's going to sit out and wait for the champ, which, hey, he has every right to. Strickland... He threw down a lot of fights, and he's earned his... And he even arguably beat Duplessis. Strickland, in my opinion, he won that fight. Some people, a lot of people think that Strickland should have the belt right now. He's the one that should be fighting Izzy. But, I mean, yeah. But at the end of the day, Strickland is not that guy anymore where he's like, we could throw down wherever you want. Robert Whitaker's that guy. And so is Diego Lopez, and so is Alex Pereira. So shout out to them, but... Yeah, and, and this is going to be an interesting fight. This is a very weak card, um, uh, whatever it is, 3-0, whatever. I don't even remember the number, but the main event's going to be interesting, though. In my opinion, I think Duplessis is going to win. I think he's going to handle Izzy. I don't think Izzy's the same guy as he used to be. I think Duplessis is going to handle him. Strickland's obviously going to get that rematch, and I think Strickland is actually going to beat Duplessis because I think... Strickland won the first match. Um, I didn't even think it was a toss-up. I think Strickland definitely won that. And so Strickland is going to beat Duplessis. And then Robert Whitaker, who, if he actually fights Hamza, hopefully it actually happens. But Whitaker is going to beat Hamza. And then I think Whitaker can definitely beat Strickland, in my opinion. I think... I think Whitaker could beat any of these guys. He could definitely beat Adesanya. Duplessis would be tough. Duplessis, he's a good fighter, but Sean Strickland knows how to beat him. So I think Strickland's going to beat him, and then Whitaker is going to beat Strickland. Those are my predictions. And Whitaker will be the champ. He will claim his, his belt. And, and then he's going to go play some League of Legends like he always does. I mean, what a guy, man. He just throws down with anybody. And he does it in such a stoic way. where he, You never hear Robert Whitaker talking crap about anybody. You never see him being loud and 
classless. Robert Whitaker is always respectful. He doesn't say much. He just wants to throw down. And then after he throws down, you see the guy playing League of Legends streaming online, which actually he's nice. He's nice on the sticks. So, yeah, Robert Whitaker, shout out to him. One of my favorite fighters. If you dislike Robert Whitaker, I don't even know what to tell you. Like, how can you dislike a guy like Robert Whitaker? It don't even make sense. There's nothing to dislike about him. But anyways, that's it for today's video, you guys. Shout out to Robert Whitaker. Comment down below. I'm, I want to hear you guys' opinions. Who do you think is going to win out of Hamza and Whitaker if they do fight? And who do you think is going to win out of uh, Izzy and Duplessis? And then go ahead and comment if you think Sean Strickland can beat whoever you think is going to win for uh, the next belt fight. So, yeah. Robert Whitaker, he's the man. Whitaker, Lopez, and Alex Pedetta, most active fighters on the roster. That's all I'm saying. Dogs. Peace.